Hi everybody, thank you for watching the video that accompanies this month's GFAC on calculating area of a polygon in ArcMap 10.x. Um, right now I'm using 10.1 in case you're wondering here. So I'm going to show you the steps of actually doing this calculation. So in the first step, you take a look at the shapefile. It's a global footprint and you can see it has over 86,000 records. Right now it's in a geographic projection which was not going to work for an area calculation. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what I mean when I say it won't work. So open up that attribute table again, and we're gonna add a new field by clicking on the uh, little table button up here. Go to the add a field, left click on it, and we'll give it the name of area calc. And we'll make it a double as I mentioned in the article. Go ahead and give it a precision of 20, which is probably overkill, but you know, for the sake of showing you in this article, this, this GFAC, uh, going to go ahead and give you the maximum possible at scale of 10. And it'll take a second to add on in there. So once it's added, if you go ahead and right, right click at the top of the column header that you just created, it'll, cr it'll have a column called Calculate Geometry. If you select that, it's going to tell you that it is quicker to do it inside an editor session. It's not significantly quicker, so I typically do it this way. Press Yes, and you're going to see the area is disabled. So indeed, you're going to have to reproject this shapefile. So let me show you that process of reprojecting, bring up my arc toolbox. I already have opened up the projection, reproject a feature tool. It's buried under the data management tools, projections and transformations. Double click on it to bring it up. And since I have a geographic footprint, I'm gonna to choose to move this into, or I have, I'm sorry, I have a global footprint. I'm gonna to choose to move this into a global equal area projection. If you're working in a local coordinate system, you're welcome to use uh, whatever equal area calculation you might find. I tend to use the global one since I usually work on a global scale. So let's go ahead and select the shape file and give it a name. And you see this is the one I typically work in, cylindrical equal area world. I'm going to show you where it's buried in here. So if you go to the projected coordinate systems, open up the layer, go down to world, and then scroll down a little ways in the, system, in the uh, list here, you'll see cylindrical world area, equal area. I'll select that. It'll take a couple seconds here to reproject the, the file into the projection that we want so we can actually calculate this. And once that's complete, we're going to go ahead and walk you through the steps which, uh, which will actually spit out that area and add it to that field once again. So we'll bring back up our table of contents. Right click and bring up our attribute table. And scroll over all the way to the right. You can see our empty area calculation field. Right click on it again. Go down to calculate geometry. Ignore the warning for now. Switch the area to square kilometers since my footprints are so big. Anything smaller than a square kilometer doesn't really make sense. And we'll go ahead and select that. It'll take a couple seconds to do it, but it's not going to be too significant of a time period. And then once this is done, we'll go ahead and show you the steps, the uh, little nifty trick just to get the statistics on the values that you've created here. Let's open up this, this field so you can see the values we've created. It's a long list of areas that we've added. So if you right click on that field again and you go down to statistics this time, what it'll do is give you a nice summary of the key statistical indicators of this data set. So it'll tell you the sum, which is always a nice one to have, max, mins, counts, nulls if there's any, standard deviations, and means. So hopefully you learned something along the way in this GFAC video that was showing you how to create or how to calculate an area in a polygon in ArcGIS.